Sussing, sussing, I'm sussing on you. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on you. I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I have a song. Yo, what is up, everybody? Today we have a brand new little like update. I'll show you guys my my all my settings. I'm gonna show you guys my stats and everything like that. Um, let's just get straight into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you guys do. Subscribe if you guys are new to this channel. I love you guys, and let's begin. Um, so yeah, starting off, let's just look at my stats. Keep in mind, guys, I've only played this game for a month and a half. That's it. A month and a half. I've only been playing this game for. Plus, I haven't been no life in it. I, yeah, I've been playing it a lot, but I haven't been playing it like non-stop. You know what I'm saying? But, anyways, 11 solo wins, 35 duo wins, 70 squad wins. In the past week or so, I haven't been playing this game this much, but I'm gonna get up there. You know what I'm saying? To me, this game's already getting boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like just going for wins nowadays. Sometimes it's fun, but I like going for high kill games and wins. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, I have 301 kills and duos. I mean, solos. 301 kills and solos. 796 in duos. 1,039 in squads. Um, those are my stats. If you guys want to see my settings, I got you right here. Sensitivity, I usually run 7 over 7. But my aim has been really bad. It's been cruised lately. So I just went back to 6 over 6. If you're, if you're not that good at aiming, like you just want to be a better aimer, 6 over 6 is for you. But if you're really good at aiming, do like 7 over 7, even 8 over 8, so you can become a better and faster builder. ADS sensitivity and controller scope sensitivity, I use 63, 63. Default is like 65, 65. I think around like 55 to 65 is perfect. I use 63, so. Um, vibration, I always keep off. First of all, it helps you save your battery and your in your controller. Second of all, if I just I, I just don't like the vibration. Aim assist on. If you don't have aim assist on, I, I don't know what the heck you're doing. It's gonna help you aim, literally. Um, reset building choice. A lot of people keep this off. I keep it on. So every time I press circle, because I use Combat Pro, every time I press circle to go to editing, I know and I always know that my walls are gonna pop up, regardless of everything. And that's what you want to do when you're getting shot at. What's the first thing you want? To, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to press circle and always know that your walls are going to come out, and then build ramps right after. Turbo building, I just keep that on. I rarely even use it because I'm so used to just tapping R2. But turbo building is pretty cool. Auto material change. Make sure you have this on 100%. And console is back then before this patch, it was hard to change your material. It wasn't hard, but it was just like. It was clunky, it was annoying. Now, it don't matter what materials you have, as soon as you run out of like wood, it'll go straight to bricks, it'll go straight to metal. It's a really, really good and effective setting right there. Always keep that on. Controller, auto run, I, t I turn that off, because there's no use for it. Plus, you be getting a little glitch here and there where you're just trying to run or something and it, it, your player will just start glitching out. Just, just turn that off, it's trash. And what else we wanna talk about? Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Brightness, I just put it a little bit above average. Audio, I turn the trash music down because the music's annoying. Again, I use Combat Pro. I think Combat Pro is the best. It's literally the best thing to use in the game. Second would be Standard. If you guys like Standard, just don't, don't listen to what anyone tells you. Don't listen to me. I'm just, I'm just this part alone. If you feel comfortable with Combat Pro, use it. If you feel comfortable with Standard, use it. It's all personal preference. To me, I think Combat Pro is better. You can change weapons, cycle through weapons easier. You can build better, but that's just my opinion. Whatever works for you, you use it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did. Subscribe if you guys are new. I love you guys so much. Keep supporting. And I'm out. Peace.